Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous Comedy Store Man Room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hensley. Oh, hi everybody. You guys excited? You're at the number one live podcast in the world. Whoop. Fuck yeah. No one has more fun on Mondays than me. My good friend Brian Red Band is, is here. Up? Uh, the great Ryan J.E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episodes. A real live show. I'm excited about this. Yeah. Uh, and we're taking the show on the road. July 25th, we are uh, going to be in Montreal at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival. Hey, look, everybody, it's Josh Martin right there. Look at him, live in the flesh. Kill Tony, Montreal. And uh, I'm doing some other shows there throughout that week. And uh, it's going to be a big, crazy uh, comedy festival because it's the biggest comedy festival in the world. Mm. Then we do Kill Tony in Cleveland on August 1st. Stand up shows August 2nd in Cleveland. Kill Tony, Fort Wayne, Indiana on August 4th. Uh, Lexington stand-up comedy the 9th, 10th, and 11th of August with a Kill Tony in Nashville, Tennessee on okay. August 12th. Uh, September 20th, a Kill Tony and a stand-up show in Lansing, Michigan. 21st, Grand Rapids. And 22nd, we have Kill Tony, Detroit, Michigan with our guest, Danny Brown. Fuck yeah, that's going to be awesome. And then we stay up there, basically, because uh, the 25th through the 29th, Kill Tony and Tony Hinchcliffe and company uh, are all going to be in Toronto, Canada, with a Kill Tony on September 28th. That's a big deal. That's the Toronto <laughs> JFL. That's a fun one. October 3rd and 6th, I do stand-up in Chicago. Uh, our Texas dates that we had to reschedule due to uh, Just for Laughs Comedy Festival are uh, already being rescheduled for mid-November. Tickets on sale soon. We'll be making that announcement real soon to get us back to Texas for like the fourth or fifth time in two years. Because we love Texas and Texas loves us. Fuck yeah. But we are here live in Los Angeles tonight and I am so excited about uh, tonight's show. Should we just jump right into it? Sure. Let's bring out tonight's guest. He is a return guest, one of our favorites here on Kill Tony. Uh, he's great. Put your hands together for one of the best comedians in the world, Tom Segura, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Fuck yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. It's a warm reception. It's a very nice crowd. Three yeah. bottles of water in front of you already. I'll fucking crush these dudes. <laughs> uh, welcome back. I'm so excited uh, that you're here. I'm you were, excited to be here. You were featured last week on our big five-year... Uh, how many of you were at the five-year anniversary? Or have oh, yeah. How many of you saw the show already? It's up right now at DeskSquad.t, a big 4K version right now, so you can watch it right now. Yeah, it's it's all downhill from that show. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, I'm excited about it. Uh, Tom is, uh, has his fall tour coming up, TomSegura.com, the Great Your Mom's House podcast. My Thank mom you. was in town uh, last week. She was on Kill Tony. She closed the show, and uh, she originally gained popularity. A lot of people don't know this on your show. She has one of the all-time greatest appearances ever in the history of podcasting. Uh, telling us about her days as a fucking bookie. Yep. yep. Your sweet yep. 72-year-old mother yes. was once being like, give me the fucking money or I'll yep. crack your leg. <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, it's true. It's yeah. true. The more you find out, the scarier it gets with my mom. Yeah. You know, I remember that uh, she was, I was telling her, I was like, when do people pay? And she goes, they always pay Tuesday. Yeah. Because... You want them to bet on Monday Night Football. Yeah. And I go, what happens if they call you and they're like, hey, uh, you know, I just, I can't pay. And then she got silent. Yeah. Like, this is on me role playing with her. Yeah. My mom was on the phone calling into the yeah. podcast. And, and there's was just like, this moment of a few yeah. seconds of powerful silence. It scared me. I was like, I got the money. I got the money. I got the money. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I go, what if uh, I'll pay you tomorrow? I'll pay you on Wednesday. She goes, there's no such thing as Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> I was like, she is all right, a legend. I'll be by later with the money. She's just as scary as she is funny, and yeah. uh, so is this show sometimes because we have a big crazy band. Uh, they commit to different characters every week. You never know what they're going to be. I don't. I literally never know what they're going to do. I get to find out uh, alongside with you. Put your hands together for them. It's the Kill Tony Band: Jeremiah uh, Watkins, Joelberg, Joel Jimenez on the drums, and Chroma Chris. On uh, the bass guitar, or guitar, this is, this is, uh, wow, all right, <laughs> that's, a, that's a hilarious segue, talking about my mobster mother, 
What are the odds? Wow. Here they are, the Kiltoni band, ladies and gentlemen. Clearly yes. Italian, uh, am I right? Mobsters? Hey. Wow. I got a point from who appears to be the head mobster here. Uh, my goodness. Hello. How's, uh, how you doing, sir? How you doing, Tony? <laughs> oh, wow. You're quite the jittery one, huh? <laughs> All right. Um, fuck yeah. So we have Man. Jeremiah, who is uh, clearly a mobster with full-blown Parkinson's. <laughs> we have uh, Chroma Chris over there. Is Joey? Does Joey no shoes? Because he ain't got no shoes. <laughs> Dude, fucking. Good aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> And then back here, we have a, uh, some type of uh, <laughs> Mexican Indiana Jones just waiting to... Uh, hey, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> All right. They are fully committed to being Italian uh, gangsters for the night, it seems. Maniscalco is my mother's maiden name. <laughs> uh, I have an entire... I'm excited to meet new comedians with mobsters on uh, the other side of them. I have a bucket filled with comedians' names. Uh, if I pull your name out of the bucket, they all signed up before the show. If I pull your name out, you get 60 seconds on stage. You know your 60 seconds is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap up your set, or else you're going to bring up the angry West Hollywood bear. And then after your 60 seconds is up, we interview you, maybe find out more about you, and some backstory on your life. Maybe your mom was a bookie at one point as well. So let's get this thing started. You ready for this? It's Kill Tony. Five years, one week. Hell yeah. Got a name out. And your first comedian performing an uninterrupted 60 seconds tonight goes by the name of Sam J. Sam J. S-A-M-J-A-E. Sam J, everybody, come on. Hello, hello. It's great to be here. Hi, 60 seconds. Oh, I would have worn my nice gray shirt. Okay, um, how y'all doing? I don't understand the female orgasm. You're like, oh, I'm so shocked. Uh, like, to me, the female orgasm is going to Ikea, and you pick out the most complicated thing, bring it home, and then you just don't look at the instructions. You know, you just start putting pegs into holes. You're like, why are there pieces left? And why is she crying? Thank you. That's all I got. Thanks, guys. Whoa, getting out early. Sam J. Hitting the old bailout switch. Uh, hitting it a little bit early. Is this your first time on the show, huh? Yeah, it is. Uh, talking to the mic, Sam. Okay, it's my first time. <laughs> okay. Uh, h h how's it going? That's 60 seconds oh, right there. Oh, wow, I had started. like... That's crazy, right? I found out like a bunch of value and shit already. How crazy is that? <laughs> it's unbelievable format okay. of this show. Is this your first time here? Uh, no, I've, I've been to the show before, but first time getting up. Very cool. How many times do you think you've been here? Probably four times. Fuck yeah. Yeah. This is your first time getting on. How did it feel up there? You know, 60 seconds is longer than you think. You know? <laughs> that's... That's how I no, think. No, 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 no. 60 seconds is longer than you think. Okay. So. All right. I think uh, 40 seconds is longer than you think, too. <laughs> I think 10 seconds is longer than you think. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey! Hey! Okay, so it was maybe 20... Maybe give it a 17 seconds? It was like 28 <laughs> seconds. <sighs> what did... Um, you, you've done getting up, though? Uh, outside of here, or no? Yeah, yeah. What, open mics and stuff? Yeah, just open mics. And did you just panic? Did I just panic? When you stopped, were you like, I got, I mean, why didn't you just keep going? Um, 
maybe maybe uh panic or maybe uh, i'm amazed at the way you love me all the time <laughs> i think uh i think i'm just wanting to write more of the bit you know and you that's know where to go I, that's yeah. the part i like i just you know. i feel like you were being honest up there i yeah. do feel like you don't know anything about the female orgasm <laughs> <laughs> so there's there's truth in comedy but not enough truth at the moment oh wow all right <laughs> Uh, Sam, what do you do for work when you're not plumbing with your brother Luigi? Uh, <laughs> hey, you keep the Mario brothers out of your mouth. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> They're good friends of mine. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, baby. Sam, uh, what, what do you... Oh! oh! Sorry, I'm just sorry. Oh, sorry. Thank you. All right. What do you do for work? Uh, for work, I, I work for Ty Lopez. I do his videos. Ty Lopez? Yeah. Who's that? It's like the internet social media guy. Reads a book a day. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How many of those noises you got in over in that sound machine over there, huh? Oh. It's a lot of noise. I like it. So it turns out you're not a plumber, but you are down in the dumps, it seems, Sam J. <laughs> what do you, you manage his stuff? Yeah, Maybe? I do like his podcasts and videos and okay. commercials and stuff. All right. All right. So. Okay. The mustache, removable? I don't, it's there. It's more, it's, it's more a, of me than I am, I think, at this point. That's a thing of beauty. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been working with this uh, Lopez character? Uh, two years almost. Hey, Would you don't have to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Thank you. What'd you do before working with uh, him? Uh, I worked at a camera rental company for five years. Oh. Just here in LA? Yeah, here in LA. This is where you're from? Yeah, I'm from Long Beach, California. What do your parents do? Uh, my mom's retired. She worked at Boeing for 28 years oh. in ethics, oh. like HR type stuff. Oh. Yeah. Boeing. Boeing. And your dad was uh, Bobby's big boy? <laughs> uh, my dad's dead, but... Um, oh, he, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, he was Bob's big boy. <laughs> <He> was... <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. Sam, any fun facts about you? Anything cool? Like if you if there was like a chapter in the book of Sam J, like what would be a cool fun fact about you? You good at making like paper airplanes or something? Um probably I mean I I skateboard every day almost. Wow. You wouldn't think this size of a person skateboards a lot, but No. There you go. I'm pretty good. Ah. Oh. Every day. Almost every day, yeah. I get winded very quickly, but I'm not there. <laughs> can you do skateboard tricks, like on the half pint? Or I can drop in and do that. I mean, I'm not going to get air. <laughs> <laughs> More of a grinder. More of a grinder, yeah. you know, a lot of pumping. <laughs> Sandwich. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Cool. All right, well, <sighs> well, Sam, skateboarding, is that it? Yeah, pretty much. When's the last time you've been with a woman? You, s you said you don't understand the female uh, whatever. I believed you. You know, I got out of a kind of a complicated relationship. Uh, oh, yeah? Maybe two years ago. Yeah. How'd that go? What was so complicated about it? Uh, she wanted to move back home oh. to Maryland. Oh. And uh, she didn't want me going with her. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. I love the reveal. This is like Maury Povich or something like that. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, these people already know, but uh, I'm going to go back to West Virginia, and uh, I don't <laughs> and want you, you to come stay. with me. Wow. So, Damn. I, we had a dog together. Oh, wow. Did she take the dog? Or she leave the did. Dog? She really did, yeah. <laughs> it was a little dog. What was the dog's name? The dog's name was Rue. Rue? It was, uh, <laughs> yeah, Rue. Like French for street? Ru like R R O O. Oh, I don't know. I don't okay. know. Okay. Uh, you, would so, you would sometimes call him Ruru. Yeah, Ruru. Yeah, you're damn right. You did. Yeah, fuck yeah. 
What's the thing you miss most? Uh, the dog or the... Uh... Small dog? I, it was a small dog. I miss the dog more. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Wow. She Damn. loved me. I love that dog. Damn. How long were you with that dog? <laughs> 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 it was uh, two long years. Yeah. What's that in dog years? <laughs> so what is it, 14? That's 14. That's Fuck. 14, yeah. It's yeah. Yeah. a long time. You said yeah. two long years. Was it a wiener dog? <laughs> <laughs> we actually yeah. have a wiener dog sound effect. There. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, what kind of so, dog was it? It was a uh, half Basenji, half Chihuahua. Uh-huh. And Basenjis don't bark. They're like quiet. Basenjis aren't welcome in my neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well... Jesus. Sam, you on any uh, dating sites or anything like that? Or you... If you can give me some dating advice, I would love that. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, normally, people don't ask for honest uh, dating advice from me, but all right, I'll give fine. you some. Uh, I... I would say uh, um, change your complete life. <laughs> uh, like, I would just do everything that you've been doing differently. I'd go no carbs, no bread for at least, at the looks of it, maybe four or five months. I would drink a lot of water, jog every day. I'd follow Cam Hayes on Instagram, you know, <laughs> get inspired. Shave the mustache. <laughs> really? Yes, yes, for sure, for sure, for 100%. sure. Yes, 100%. But this is like... Girl, Everybody that ever told you they like it lied to you. Yeah. They lied to your face, dude. Those people aren't your She's friends. She's fucking nodding. She's like, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. Did your ex-girlfriend like the mustache? I don't know. Oh, uh, that's what it is. It's why your, she it's left your, you, dude. It's your Batman mask. You, you got the mustache after she broke your heart. I feel like I've had it for so long out here, no one would really recognize me. Oh, no. No, they'd know you. Yeah. <laughs> they'd know <laughs> You could also just grow the rest of it out. That's what I did. Wait you know? a second, wait a second. Did wait you a have a mustache? No, this is just a mustache with other stuff. You uh. know? <laughs> right? Okay. That's what a beard is. So Must no do- carbs and <laughs> shave the stash. No, yeah, you'll get I'm it. trying well, to make this. This is a podcast. Great. You'll be able to listen back to okay, everything. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. it. That's... that's um, <laughs> no, you seem like a nice guy. You, you, it seems like you'd be you'd, like girls would like you. Uh, you have a good personality. It seems like I think they want like a bad boy. Whoa, Whoa. Brian Redman, you gay or something? What's going on? <laughs> Whoa! Yes. I, I mean, thank you for that gay like you, Danny <laughs> Lucas. God. I just love it. I love that you said that uh, you didn't want to shave the mustache because you think people would not recognize you as the guy that you are right now. <laughs> like, it seems like you should be rushing to. Uh... What happened to your hand? Why is your hand stuck like that? Just holding it? No, you, just, you were just resting it on your yeah. belly. You didn't notice that? <laughs> no. <laughs> you were using it as a complete armrest there. It's That's another thing. These are changes. I could be your life coach, dude. Shit. I would maybe also put some Band-Aid on your nipples so they don't go through. I knew it. I knew they're, they're a little hard. I, that's, that's just what happens. <laughs> Once yeah. again, Red Band noticing the guy's nipples. What's going on here? <laughs> I, I got my go. <laughs> Fuck okay. yeah. There right. you go, Sam J, Thank everybody. You so much. And we're off and running. He's on Twitter at Sam J Comedy. Uh, man, <laughs> this, uh, I love this Carnival Cruise Line Italian guy you got. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit let's keep this fun train moving along oh wow I remember this young lady I think she's only been on once before she was great put your hands together for Alice Rose ladies and gentlemen uh, so when you're black dogs just bark at you and then white people try to blame you for their dog barking at you. They're just like, oh my God, it's so weird that Muffins would bark at you because she's like a great judge of character. <laughs> yeah, it's not because I'm your only black friend and Muffins is fucking racist. It's because I have terrible character. Yeah, Muffins knows that I don't give change to homeless people and she's like, bark, bark, you asshole. And I'm so sorry, how do you know this information? You some type of fucking dog psychic? Because pardon me, I didn't realize I was speaking to the shittiest member of the X-Men. 
You should go have a slumber party with Aquaman and Hawkeye because that is a fucking useless superpower. <laughs> fucking white people and your dogs. You're just like, it's my baby. I'm like, you should have got an abortion. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, you guys, you're the best. There you go, a minute from Alice Rose. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Am I right? This is your, what, second time on the show? Yep, second. Hell yeah, and the first time you crushed so hard that I remember you. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Hell yeah. How's life been? Uh, since I was on Kill Tony, fucking awesome. Like, a bunch of people hit up my Instagram and, like, my Twitter and told me they thought I was funny. Uh, I didn't even plug either one, so I don't know how they found me. They was just on some Scooby-Doo shit. Stalkers. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, people started booking me for, like, shows. I got to do, like, 20 minutes out in fucking the Coachella Valley. And, That's great. Uh, I was on a show with a Parna Nancherla a little while ago. It's Hell been yeah. going awesome. Badass. Yeah. Congrats. Awesome. That's Hell great. Yeah. Um, fuck Yeah. Uh, is that, uh, is that, do you really not like dogs? Dogs don't like me. Or any of my black friends. Yeah. <laughs> you can train them to do that. You know that, right? <laughs> I think that's what's going yeah. on. Uh, ever, no, like, um, I'm scared of dogs. I don't hate dogs. They're, uh, I'm just, a, a fucking dog tried to bite me on Saturday. Like, uh, the lady was, like, holding the leash back, and I had to legit jump into some bushes. Wow. Poor Sam J is back there trying to forget about his dog, and it just keeps, <laughs> the storyline just keeps continuing about these dogs. The last guy's uh, girlfriend left him with the dog. I was sitting right oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. I heard it. Sometimes it's a good. podcast. You can listen to it later, Hinchcliffe. <laughs> Alice, uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a nanny. Ah. Yeah. Uh, how long have you been doing that? Um, for like ever. My mom opened a daycare center in my house when I was seven years old, so I've been like nannying and babysitting ever since then. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, for about a year. Well, that's fun. Yeah. And you stay busy? You do it a lot? Yeah, uh, almost every night if I can. A lot of, uh, a lot of, that's uh... Great. <laughs> hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Some lady with a work ethic over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of my whores in the back. Shut up. <laughs> What else do you do? What do you do for, like, fun to uh, take your mind off the comedy and stuff like that? Um, pretty much all I do is stand-up, jogging, and writing. Wow. Jeez. You must do a lot of jogging. <laughs> <laughs> Sam J, you can take a lesson from Alice Rose, too. There you go. Let's keep the life coaching going. Well, when I'm not writing or performing, I'm jogging. <laughs> all right. Well. Where'd you grow up? Portland, Oregon. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. How long have you been in L.A.? Um, like two years-ish, yeah. What do, you, uh, what do you miss about Portland that you can't find here in uh, Los Angeles? Uh, I mean, like, the traffic is better. That's about it. I don't, I fucking hate Portland. It's cold. It's fucking full of racist-ass white folks. I <laughs> don't care for it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> I liked your set. It really hit close to home to me because, uh... <laughs> Because uh, I just got a dog. Well, my wife brought, I mean, my wife and I got a dog. She basically really fucking wanted a dog, so. Wait a minute. We got one. You're married? Wait a second, what? <laughs> you don't know about any of this? All right, no. we'll catch up uh, after the show. The fuck? But we got a dog. <laughs> when did you get married? We man? got a dog. Uh, it's been. Uh, Stop with the fucking dog. When did you get <laughs> it's married? Been, uh, <laughs> it's been eight months. We've been married for eight what? months. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for being such a good friend, Tom. Uh, no. Thanks for the text about it. <laughs> hey, got married. It was, it was quick. You, you come to me on the date of my pony's wedding. <laughs> so anyway, I got a dog a few weeks ago. We're a few weeks into having this dog. And uh, at first I'm like, fuck, there's a fucking dog at my place. And the next thing you know, it was like, sort of like, Feel like having a kid a little bit, like yeah. I falling in love with it. But you got to get them both to go attack black people, the kid and well, the I dog. Was, you know? I was just gonna say, I'm pretty sure that my dog would be a little freaked out by you, Alice Rose. I can admit um, that that is. So now you're gonna have a baby. What? You're gonna have a kid now? 
Oh uh, no. Jesus Christ. No, 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 no. All right, but am I going to find out when he's no, like this seven? This is the part where all my comedian friends with kids try to talk me into having no. a kid. And, uh, no. It's do not it. Gonna happen. No, no way. I can't do it. Well, the car is perfect for it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> the baby seat in the trunk. All right. Uh, Alice, anything else crazy about you or fun about you? Or, uh, uh, last time else? we talked about my racist parents. Wait. Oh, yeah. racist oh. against which race? All of them except for white. Wow. You, wait, your parents are super racist? My mom's white, my dad's black, and they both just super racist. I guess love, everything? Love Trump. Yeah. <laughs> can you really remind <laughs> me? Can you, can you tell me what... Uh, I, I must have asked you this last time you were on, but what's the most racist thing against black people you've ever heard uh, your black uh, dad say? Oh, the my... Um, yeah, fuck. what was it? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, so on Easter one time, uh, we were all just like having a good time. And then my dad, like out of nowhere, just goes like, you know, by like 2049, this, most of this country is going to be brown. And I looked at him and I was like, dad, what's wrong with that? And then I saw him remember that he was black and he said nothing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What about, wait, what about your mom? Does your mom say... Oh, all the fucking time. She's like, Native Americans are gambling alcoholics. And I'm like, you're... That's kind of accurate. But what about... Yeah, what about and like, by the way, so it's like the no, 2049 thing you said earlier. I mean, I'm really I, looking for the... I'm starting to think I mean, is she ever be. off about anything? I... I tried to tell her, I'm like, you're a Native American, why aren't you a gambling alcoholic? And she was like, well, I'm Jewish, so I'm also good with money. And I was like, wow. that's not how any of this works. She told Dude. me when I was a kid that she thinks that big lips are slutty, which is fucked up. I hey, mean, help. I mean, I, uh, again, Alice, I mean, I might, I might get along better with your parents than I get along with you, it seems, because I'm pretty much agreeing with everything that they're saying. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Alice, anybody ever told you you look like one of the Unsullied from Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> what, am I the only Game of Thrones fan in here? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funnier than when a character has, like, a joke that doesn't make... I can't believe that an Italian mobster like you is that much what into Game of Thrones, <laughs> Jeremiah. <laughs> wow. Uh... I want to hear so much more about your parents, and I hope you talk about them on stage eventually. I yeah. try to. It tends to make white people sad, but I'm working at it. Yeah, but just keep doing it. <laughs> I, yeah, I, doing I got it. laughs one time, but uh, well, I have like full black cousins, and like one of them came to visit. And my mom like hid my United States quarter collectors board because she thought my black cousin would like steal the twelve fifty out of the. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Which she didn't, but, like, my white cousin stole fucking all of my quarters. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, but sense. that was the Jewish one, right? <laughs> yeah, I remember. You talked about <laughs> Jews earlier. I'm marking and taking notes over here. You got to keep yeah. an eye who's moving into the neighborhoods these days. <laughs> all right, Alice. We're going to keep it moving along. That's Alice Rose, That's everybody. Great. She's on Twitter at Just Alice Rose. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Giant in a Hawaiian shirt. Fuck yeah. It's a real live show. Put your hands together for Aaron McCann. Aaron McCann sprinting from the farthest corner. Watch out for the camera, Aaron. Uh, I'll address the accent off top. I'm from Ireland. Ireland's a weird place to come from to move to America because there's so many, like, surveys about us, right? Like, where I'm from, we got voted as having the happiest people in the world, right? Same year, highest suicide rates in Europe. You ever get so happy you just want to fucking kill yourself? That's the Irish way right there. Uh, I moved here in January this year, second week in L.A. I was a victim of racism in a Wendy's which is where I assume all fucking racism takes place. Uh, guy comes up to me and he's like, hey bro, I'll give you 20 bucks if you just say they're magically delicious. <laughs> Here's the thing though, this cunt was an albino. Uh, first rule of racism, don't be fucking albino. Got this fucking racist ghost wandering around Wendy's giving me shit. <laughs> 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 
Fuck yes. Boom. Aaron McCann. Coming all the way from Ireland on a goddamn mission. Yeah. <laughs> it's your first time on the show, right? Uh, second. I'm the guy that lives with 30 people. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still fucking there. <laughs> you live with 30 people? Yeah. And Is it like your family? or who? No. <laughs> I am Catholic, but no. It's... Uh, <laughs> he ain't Mexican, though. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's a house in uh, Echo Park, and yeah, there's like 30 people living in the house. Well, why didn't you do like what we were telling you? Just grab a couple friends and rent a place together. Instead of 30, you can have four or something. Uh, I just, I don't know. I'm too fucking lazy at the minute. And I kind of like having it to talk about as well. And it's, it's fun. You know, it's different. 30. 30. 30. How long has it been since you were on the show last, Ballpark? Uh, say like a month and a half, two months ago. Oh, okay. Shit like that. And what do you do for work? Uh, I work at the Echo Park Swan Boat Rentals. Uh, wow. Yeah. 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 And I think about jumping in that fucking lake every other day. Uh, wow. But yeah, it's, it's a job and it pays decent, so I'm there for now. What do you do again? I mean, what do you do at the at the lake again? You rinse out those swans. Yeah. You're able to stay afloat with the job yeah. like that? <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm on. No, I'm on. Got you. I'm on the deck. I'm on the deck. I put people under the swan boats and then fuck them off into how the... How does that pay wow. well? How does how does swan rental pay well? Like, what are you talking about? Like, six bucks an hour or something? Uh, no. no, it's it's 15. That's Hell pretty yeah. decent, actually, for swan rentals. That's <laughs> <not> <laughs> Wait, how long, fucking lucky. how long have you been in the States? Uh, I moved here the first week of January, so not long. Okay. Wait, oh, my God, do I love the way you say January. <laughs> and say January. it again, just like that. January. Say, oh, January. <laughs> oh, it was a long, long, long trip. <laughs> I remember. It started in January. I love the way you say that. Say it again. Say it again. January. <laughs> Wow. I can't understand a damn word this guy's <laughs> saying. <laughs> He's Irish, Italian guy. Yeah, he lives with 30 people. I think he's living with a mob more than roommates. <laughs> Got right. my eye on you, you Irish bastard. <laughs> what do you think about this? Living with 30 people? Huh? I think it's absolutely fucking terrifying. Um, <laughs> I how mean, many, what do you, you even know? How many people's names do you know at the house? Oh, you'll get to know them all. Trust me. You know all th- yeah. 29 other yeah. people. How many bathrooms what? are there? There's four bathrooms. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> how many do you take up? <laughs> I think last yeah. time you said there was one slutty girl that everyone fucked. Is yeah, she she's, still gone <laughs> she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. She's last too long. What's the split? What's the ma- man to woman split there? Uh, it's about at the minute it's like three quarters male I'd say Oof. so yeah a lot of silent <laughs> wow what are the what's the 25% of women like what are they what do you think their median number is you think oh. it's like what do you mean <laughs> Me- medium number well I mean like what do you think it's like what do you think it averages out to the hotness of the chick Oh, I wouldn't... I'd How many hot chicks are there out of the 25%? Dude, we sleep in fucking pods. I'm not fucking anybody in one of those things. <laughs> like, what I do you mean? Are you someone go- who's outside of that, you know? How many people are in a room? Uh, so there's like 10 people per room, and it's like what? bunk beds, but like, Fuck. think like Japanese like- businessman pods. Like, that's what we sleep in. All right, I don't want to inform this to you right now, but you're in a concentration camp. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty Dude, true. You, you called it a pod. <laughs> <laughs> what you're describing is horrifying, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> what do you what do you eat? Like, you just go fast food. You everybody just goes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Nope. Well, I mean, I try and fucking eat well, but like the kitchen is just always so fucking crowded that you're like, fuck this. I'm just gonna go to work. <laughs> yeah, right. It's basically that. They take your children away at the door, like when you get there. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So what's it was a January night. <laughs> <laughs> I started to cry as I looked at my pod. <laughs> <laughs> but then I realized Greta No Pants was just down the hall. <laughs> there was no running water. 
but Greta was always running. Wow. Damn. Aaron McCann. What else, Aaron? Anything else crazy happen at the, uh, the house since the last time we saw you or anything in life? Uh, not like before I came to America, I nearly fucking got this own because I got drunk and woke up in a forest back home. Uh, real fucking story. Uh, <laughs> it was. A <laughs> That's the most Irish stupid shit I've ever heard in my that's life. True, yeah. You know, that's, that's when you need to turn your life around. When you get drunk and wake up in the forest. <laughs> oh, January. Oh, the middle of January. Ah, oh, January. <laughs> say it again, say it again. January. Oh, my God. You know what? The Swan Company's paying you 15 an hour. I'm going to pay you 17 an hour to hang out at my place and say January over and over again. <laughs> Let's do this shit. <laughs> hey, I know a guy who could do it for 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Aaron, anything else? Anything else you want to say to uh, the great Tom Segura? Or Tom, anything you want to say to him? Uh, Tom's actually one of my favorite comics, so this is a fucking huge honor for me. Oh, uh, thanks, man. So thank you so much. Well, uh, on that note, I really enjoyed your set. Thank um, you so much. No, I really did. You were very funny. Thank very, so very much. charismatic. Keep doing it, man. That's very amazing. funny. Thank you so yeah. fucking much. There he goes. From one pod to another, Aaron McCann sleeps in a pod. Yeah. Hey, uh, I got to ask you something. Yeah. What's your wife's name? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. 30 people sleeping in pods. It's One crazy. could almost call that a podcast, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, what's the, what's the rent there? Did he tell you that before? Four bucks. It was, Four bucks? It was, it was more expensive than it should be. How much, uh, how much is your monthly rent again, Aaron? 700. <laughs> 700. What? Crazy. Dude! Go to Koreatown. You could get that for 600 for your own place, Dude. man. This is not... Let me talk to you about U.S. dollars after the show. <laughs> because that shit is it's not right. Crazy. What the fuck? It's unbelievable. It's like a mental illness. Like, they must be getting, like, fed something in the water to stay there and shit like that. Who owns that building? God damn it. A genius. That's who. The wine scene company. making fucking tens of thousands more How do you think I paid for this suit? <laughs> <laughs> Is that true? You're renting out pods to people? Yeah. <laughs> Suck my dick. <laughs> Fuck yes. Jeremiah Watkins, ladies and gentlemen, is in the house tonight. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys having fun out there, huh? We're about to meet another human being. Put your hands together for Simon Fraser. Here we go. Simon Fraser. No Simon Fraser. We're going to move on. Blacklisted. Oh, that's interesting. Put your hands together for William Chang. William Chang. Nope. Blacklisted. Oh, boy. William Chang sleeps with the fishes. Put your hands together for Catherine Faith. Here we go. Movement. Here she comes. Catherine Faith is coming. Hi, everybody. I want to talk about the poop bucket. This is how I was raised. Uh, my parents had a Volkswagen van, and my dad was a very busy man. And um, there wasn't time for things like pulling over to go to the bathroom. And... Um, we were, there was always police chases, and um, it's really hard to balance over a tiny little popcorn bucket in the back of, of, of a very old van while your mother is very Catholic and your dad is very drunk. There's usually whiskey involved, and, and there's many absorbent rugs just covering the entire back. And I got very good at squatting. 
Let me tell you. And, and at night, I like to hear those whooshing, watery sounds on YouTube because it reminds me of, of the soft whooshing of the, the urine and, and, and other items in the back of the van. So that's the poop bucket, and I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight. Fuck yeah. You nailed the timing part. Yeah, wow, look, you just stand straight up after that. You get, right out, you get right out of that... Uh, that uh, that witch's brew posture that you had. Tony, before. Tony, be careful, man. By the, judging the bottom of her pants, you wouldn't like her when she's angry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really. It kind of looks one. like the Hulk, but it's the style in silver. Thank you for silver. explaining that brilliant joke. <laughs> Hell yeah. Touche. Catherine, how long yes. you been doing stand up? Two months. Two months. Yes. How's that going for you? I love it. I yeah. really enjoy embarrassing my family and bringing shame is that what to my it is? name. Yes. Why do you Why do you want to embarrass your family? I you don't, met, you don't want like your to. Parents? It just. I love them. My mother's dead, so we'll be respectful. But it's very therapeutic to just kind of. So, uh, <laughs> so you you hate your dad. I love my father, Dad. I love you so much. It was Father's Day recently. Do you have like a big inheritance coming or something like that? What does that mean? My my dad's a surgeon, retired. Ah, uh, wait, your dad for real? Did did it was did you guys did you really shit in the car? Yeah. The the surgeon. He'll never talk to me again. And he drank a lot. This surgeon. Oh God! Um, don't what, give my name. What kind no. of surgeon was he? He was a very. He was. It's like the Denzel Washington movie. Oh God! This is going down. What? Bad. The Equalizer. With the fl- with when he's flying the planes, like he's perfect at what he is uh, amazing at what he training does. Training day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God! I you like to get di- wet. I have no family anymore now. Um, Wait a minute. So he was a great surgeon. He's an amazing surgeon. Remember he was, the time? He was a. He was a. <laughs> What would happen if, uh, why are you so scared that uh, people would find out that your dad's a surgeon? Not that he's a surgeon, that he may be he drinking and driving. And yeah. then he also he's like, retired, so yeah, it's, he's it's retired. all good. Yeah, but yeah. he's like, why was he like shit in a bucket? Like, why? Yeah. I, I don't know. And That's this is what the whole I'm family had to together. do? Uh, how, how big was the family? How many brothers and sisters? I have one sister. And your dad made you both poop in buckets? Well, my, she All was right, out of the house. We just found out about a crime here live on Kill Tony for the first time Wait, ever. how old were you? Stop with that. That's how, so gross. Please How stop. old were you when you were doing this? Too old, probably. But, like, how old? I don't know. It's all a blur. I'm just slow, you know... I don't know. Because I'm, it was all to avoid pulling over? There were, he was a busy man. <laughs> Wait a minute. But if, whole, did he piss in the car? Like if he's driving, would he like... I no, gotta... I think everybody was trained to hold it. But I, I think there was just a lot of fear. So it, it made me have to go to the bottom Sounds healthy. Yeah, it was great. It was good. Wait, there was a... <laughs> <laughs> Brian, <laughs> He's silent, on. which is really scaring me. I mean, there's no words. Catherine, if yes. I may, you're the one that wanted to come up here and talk about the poop bucket. Yeah. So I know. I'm just try- we're just trying to really figure out what you were talking about. And why were you standing so awkwardly at the beginning like well, you were shitting yourself? <laughs> Didn't we already ask that question? I don't know. How many times did you poop in wow, the bucket? Still no answer. All right, okay. <laughs> how, how often was it? Oh, all the time. All the time. And then it was mainly a pee situation, but yeah. there was occasional times where, where it you was had to poop more. in it. And yeah, then how it was, long would it was a shameful process. And then how long would the bucket stay in the car? However long the trip was. So sometimes a few hours though? Oh yes. Definitely. Yeah. You know this is crazier than fucking anything I've ever heard in my <laughs> life, right? Are you just trying I to be silly? Like, I are honestly, you trying to be funny? I, uh, I'm being serious and I honestly didn't realize how crazy it was until two months ago when I started sharing this stuff. You Privately at open months? mics that no one That's was. That's why you're not supposed to tell anybody nothing. <laughs> now, have as an adult, have you gone to the bathroom in the car because you kind of are used to it? Like, do you like shit in like a Mountain Dew can or something? I, like I that? think I do. It's kind of triggering though. Yeah, like, do I you yeah. poop eating through a Mountain Dew can? The little thing right there. Do you do, do you stick a little thing up to your butthole? And you squeeze through the soda and you get it all the way in the can. Do you do that? I do. I do or do we that. call it a Mountain Dew Dew? <laughs> you have a number two, the Dew? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes. What do you do for work, Catherine? 
Oh, that's a good question. Wow. Uh, yeah, I do stuff. My background, I was a state worker in Illinois. I did graphic design shit. I uh-huh. went to art school. So that it's all pieced together. You the said van. you did graphic design shit. Did you do graphic design shit in yeah. a bucket? Yeah. Actually. You're <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Brian. Come on. It's so gross. You are fucking weird. And... <laughs> I've heard that once before. Listen, I love it. And Thank you. you just need to embrace it and keep sharing the stuff that you feel like you shouldn't share. I'm <laughs> serious. A lot. There's no, a lot. I know, but it's the... St- believe me. There's more there. So yeah, But you can't be afraid. You can't, you know, be yeah. you can't have this fear. You can't talk about crazy shit and then not explain it so exactly. that people understand True. it. You gotta go into all the details. Oh. Keep You're doing stand up comedy now. Uh, what else in life? What else is on your bucket list? Uh bucket list. Hey, uh, I, I, got I you didn't again, see that. You son you of a bitch. Me. I missed it. She stepped right in it. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Brian. God. Jesus. What else in life? What else do you do for fun? You seem like you'd like hang out at like uh, I don't know, like outside of tattoo parlors or something like that. I love like that. Please think that. that. Coffee I, shop. Um, do you do that weird stance all the time? Too? I do do a lot of yeah. deep lunging, yeah, and but yeah. I, now I'm gonna realize why. Um, no, I uh, I I just recently learned that if I eat one pint of ice cream, it makes a great cozy a ice cream cozy for another pint, and then if you put in another pint into that. Mm-hmm. It's so insulated. So I've gotten up to four now. It's like a telescoping ice what cream pint. What the fuck pint. question did I ask her to get that answer? I, I don't yeah. know. You, you asked about my social life, so I thought, and you said to be honest. Wow. Well, you really gave me the scoop on your uh, ice cream. So I was expecting something a little more, uh, you know, broad than... Uh, and the tattoo parlor. You know, I'm out there. Where'd you grow up again? Illinois. I'm from the corn. Yeah. Two hours south of Chicago. I want to say Chicago, but I did not grow up in Chicago. How much of that corn ended up in the bucket? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you've been saving the grossest fart. Ooh, listen to the Joelberg chants beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I want to hate Brian Redband for keep hitting that fart sound effect. That's the funniest thing he's done in a while for me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh, I mean, how does he come up with this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's a prodigy. Well, Catherine, you're two months in, and uh, you've already shown you have, uh, you have guts, you know, talking about a crazy subject matter for 60 seconds. You yeah. just got to, you know. You know, let the let you know explain it better so that let it understand. Rip. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, just fucking. And if you could tip, down. T- if hey, you I'm could gonna hide this for uh, yeah, a second. Yeah, it was very way. similar to that on. actually. Really? Yes. It was like a jack o' lantern. It was a pop. It was a popcorn. Tell me thing. this. What's really up to what age were you doing it? Just be honest. I, it, well, it all started in I Chinyara. <laughs> <laughs> I I was this height at 11. So and I was probably. The Doing captain it. of the basketball team? What? Uh, no, I can't play basketball at all. But I was no. maybe up to 11. I don't know. Mm. Okay. Wow. We're unlocking those memories right now with, my, wow. with help. All right. Well, there you go. guess... Uh, that's really just, like it. Let's leave it on a high note. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, where, where do we go from here? It gets better, guys. Yeah. All right. High note, brown note, whatever. <laughs> all right, Catherine. Well, um... Keep rocking and rolling. We'll see you again soon. There she Thank goes, Catherine. You. Oh, you. come on, Brian. Yeah, something. Uh, one more time for Catherine Faith, everybody. Come on. We're having fun. Oh, shit. I'm so fucking excited about this. It's been so long since this guy's been on this show. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite people that has ever gotten pulled out of the bucket in the history of this show. Put your hands together for him. Make some noise for the great Steve Lee, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, there he is. I just talked to him a few weeks ago for the first time in a while. Oh. Fuck yeah. <laughs> How many of you are Kill Tony fans out there, huh? You've seen this guy probably five, six, seven times on the show. Here he is again. It's Steve Lee, everybody. (laughs) 
I'll give you 10 more minutes to roll this back, guys. <laughs> Why are your equipment so heavy, man? <laughs> Ugh. All right. Um, so, what's up? Uh, I, uh, my family told me I, I should quit Hollywood because there were only three Asian male lead in all the Hollywood movies. The first guy was Bruce Lee, right? It was so racist, he had no romantic lead. That's how bad. And then the second guy was Jackie Chan. And, that, you know, the Hollywood was less racist, so they gave him a black guy. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and then it was Jet Li. You remember Romeo Must Die? They gave him a black lady. Aaliyah, though. She's hot as fuck, but she's dead now. Like... <laughs> And if you can, like, if you can just take a look, three of those Asian male leads, they all know martial arts. Look at me, I'm fucked, man. Wow. All right, thank you. Motherfucking Steve Lee, everybody. First, uh, first person pulled out of the bucket tonight for you podcast listeners. He is handicapped. He is indeed Asian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are. Steve, that was a fucking awesome performance, dude. Thank you, man. You crushed. Great. Uh, oh, the band is literally eating spaghetti, everybody. <laughs> Joel's eating spaghetti. Still has the cigarette in his mouth for you podcast listeners. Jeremiah, of course, the fat ass he is, uh, not, not just acting like Joel. He's literally eating the spaghetti. The weight gain challenge champion. Uh, Steve, how's it yeah. going? Uh, welcome back. It's been a long time. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Your mouth doesn't move when you laugh. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, like, ha 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 Oh, man, I've been, like, really depressed. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, and, uh, well, I mean, I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. And, it, you know, it goes ups and downs, right? Yeah, that's and, just um, when you fall. Last year, I had a big... <laughs> oh, come on, Steve. Steve's laughing. He can handle these. You groaners I can handle there. this. Come on. So, okay, so last year, I got a big gig. It was, like, a corporate gig. They yeah. pay me, like, four figures. Damn. Yeah, and and no, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So it was like a medical company trying to sell medical supply to doctors. So they hire an Asian disabled guy. Hell yeah! It's like you're damn right. Evil genius, right? The boss. So so he they had everything arranged. They could, could fly me there. They could do like uh you know I was like the closing of the whole show. They were gonna have 15 speakers at the conference, right? Yeah. And turn out the show was in Florida, and it was during the hurricane. <laughs> oh. oh, well, you already have two canes right there. Why not add a, a third? Right. <laughs> so, so yeah, my my. <laughs> because you his sn- lips don't move when he laughs. Please, it's amazing. I've never so seen to anything cancel that cool. my whole show, you know. It's really, because of the hurricane? Yeah. How long ago was that? Uh, last year, summer. And that really bummed you out. Uh, well, I mean, there were so many, so many things. I have anxiety when I talk to people. So in, in comedy, like, you got to talk to all the comics and talk to all no, the No, you bookers. don't. Fuck them. I, I don't <laughs> talk to them. <laughs> Man, so where, what, where was it uh, scheduled to be, this, uh, this show? Uh, last summer. Wow. What do you mean? Oh, like, uh, yeah. Last summer. And, they uh, didn't reschedule it? The, no. Probably they lost money, and they, yeah, they said they lost a how lot of money. How often are how often are you getting up? You've been doing the, you've been doing. Oh uh, yeah, I mean I do I do shows like smaller show once or twice a, a week. You've been doing but, it eight years. Yeah. Well, you fucking destroyed here tonight. That was awesome, man. Right, you killed it. Yeah. <laughs> I say if you're depressed, you should be doing this more because this. But, will, but but here's the thing. What what makes me come back was uh, uh, two three months ago I did a. Um, a, a film competition for people with disability, and you beat those fucking handicapped <laughs> motherfuckers. Oh yeah, the Special asses. Olympics. I've heard of it. So <laughs> yeah, so I. 
They're flappers. <laughs> the Special Olympics comedy competition. Yeah. So I was really bummed out, and then I was like, oh, okay, maybe there's like a, a cool thing to do, right? So I produced the thing, I wrote the whole script, yeah. and I, I uh, had a director work with me, and I had like a lot of SAG actors and actresses, like really talented actor and actress, actresses. And we only have two days to, com to complete the thing. So I didn't sleep, the director didn't sleep, so we were working on this thing. And finally, like one hour before the submission, the computer froze. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck! Oh! Wait, 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 what were you like again? Do it again. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> and when was this? Fuck yeah. It was like uh, April. So did the show not happen? And I had to call the, sh the, the, the people who run the, the, the competition. It's like, hey, bro, uh, we were computer were frozen and all that. And it was like, all right, we g g give you one more hour. So we, we finally rendered the whole thing and submitted it. Wow. Yeah. And um, it turned out we didn't get into the final. <laughs> 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 but, all, but what I learned is, like, this is a lot learning process. What, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> Jeremiah is going out into the crowd giving people pasta. Yeah. <laughs> it's my grandmother's secret recipe. <laughs> good, good. S Steve. Uh, uh, so okay, so um, <laughs> turned out I learned a lot from the process, and I'm loving the the whole film process. So I'm taking acting classes. I'm taking taking writing classes. Hell yeah. That's and great. I'm, I'm learning singing too. So singing. You're singing? Get, get the fuck out of here. What, what, are you, what, are you been, what have you been saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hit us with it. Come on. <laughs> what the? Um, so I'm learning this song called uh, Superstar from the Carpenters. Oh, yeah. uh, can can uh, you? Uh, not very good at it. No, 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 no. Yes, you are. <laughs> Come on, give him a fucking round of applause. Uh, <laughs> Don't you remember? You told me you loved me, baby. <laughs> That's it, man. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah, Steve Lee. He says so, you're coming so back <laughs> again, here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Open your mouth. <laughs> baby, 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 oh, baby. This is I Jeremiah lip-syncing. I can't believe that. You got, you got the wrong I Asian. didn't know Mob can sing, so. That's the second Asian person. Yeah, he just does that with <laughs> the Jeremiah Asians. Jeremiah has talked for <laughs> Shout out to Tab Fam. Is there any chance Jeremiah might secretly have something against Asian people? No, I just got a knack for communicating with them. <laughs> Steve, uh, I would love to have you back on the Ice House next week if, you, right, if it's possible. Hey, hey, look at that. Look at that. Thank you. I would love to. From the Rice House to the Ice House. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> All right. Here today, gong tomorrow. <laughs> Steve, what else have you been doing for fun? Anything else cool? Any new hobbies or anything? Um, like that? Doing my nerd thing of playing video games. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that? I, I, I love I how he know. laughs I'm after like everything. Too over that shit. I don't know. How old I'm, are you? Uh, 40, 41. <laughs> don't that, don't tell them anything else, or I have to break your legs again. <laughs> you know, Steve. Uh, it's important to note. I think that uh, you know when I talked to you a few weeks ago uh, and told you to make sure to keep coming back here and this and that. It, you told me then you were depressed. You mentioned it here tonight. And I think it's important for people to hear it. For a few months, this guy who was in L.A. doing stand-up for eight years got so depressed that he stopped doing everything and chilled out for a few months. And now, you know, with all the things that he has to go through in life already, is taking acting classes and writing classes. He's even fucking singing The Carpenters. So there you go. An inspiration. Steve Great. Lee. Anything else you want to say before uh, taking off, uh, Steve? Anything? Can we get a group picture? 
right can now? Get a picture? God, that is the most Asian shit I've ever seen in my life. Asking hey. for a picture. Right fucking now? It's a live podcast. Just take a screenshot of the video when it comes out <laughs> next week. Jesus all right, really Christ. quick. Come on. I'll Steve, do a, you're a, all right. I'll all right. do a picture as can long as I Can someone hold a camera for me? Oh, okay. Come okay. on, it's his make-a-wish. You can, <laughs> you, can, can you... Steve, can't you use one of your canes as a selfie stick? I, uh... I do not want to spend 15 minutes watching you put this back. I got it. <laughs> Steve go Lee, ahead. ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Great stuff, buddy. Hell yeah. Catch him next Friday at the Ice House in Pasadena. Fun place. Those pictures are going to cost you 50 bucks a pop. <laughs> oh, my God. He even got a standing O. Oh, that's just him still going back to his seat. It's Steve Lee. <laughs> oh shit ladies and gentlemen it's been a while when you see that black sharpie you know your ass belongs to kill tony legend aphrodite <laughs> here she is the great and powerful how y'all doing i got a jealousy issue those new women, you know those new women they talking about, them trans legender women? <laughs> you know them transformer women? <laughs> Transmission? <laughs> Transcendental meditation women? I'm jealous of them, they don't bleed. <laughs> I don't think it's fair that they, ble- they don't bleed. They don't know what is the hot flashes, none of that shit. They come in the bathroom with them big old shoes on. I like what they doing in there. You know, if they have a fight with their boyfriend, it's a fair fight. That's wrong. They need to bleed. They need to carry a sack of blood, get blood all on their clothes and shit like real women. Wow. Look at that. Aphrodite. Coming in with multiple Thank laughs you. per minute. Hell yeah. Look at you. Thank you, Tony. Every time I see you, just like Chris Rock. <laughs> By that I mean bigger and blacker. <laughs> Tom, Great. is this your first time seeing Aphrodite? Absolutely not. No. Oh. She was, uh, <laughs> you were on the last show. that uh, When I was here last, you were yeah, on the show. Yeah, I thought so. I thought that's so. That's right. That's right. It was Thank about you. Dick at that time. But this oh, is, yeah. Uh, I still like Dick. I, oh, yeah. I, I think it was your birthday, birthday, by the way. It was your birthday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, it was your birthday. Thank you. Yeah. I'm on the way to 63. Jesus wow. Christ. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, you, you crushed again. That Thank was excellent. You. Thank yeah. you. So fun. Uh, Transmissions, everything. S- yes. Exciting to, exciting yes. to have you back Trans, on. Trans, Lassie, and the good women, Ollie. Last time you were on Kill Tony, uh, other than an appearance at the end of the episode last week for the big picture at the end, uh, you were in San Francisco. Yeah, I love you, San Francisco. Hell yeah, place went fucking ballistic. You sang I Left My Heart in San Francisco, and uh, and here you are, absolutely crushing, probably one of your best sets. What else Thank is going you. on in life, Aphrodite? Anything I'm doing else? a show tomorrow night with Top Shelf Brass Band. Ah, we love them. We've seen them multiple times. Yes. They're on social media at Top Shelf Brass Band. What are you going to be doing with them? I'm singing with them. They're going to start at 9 p.m. at the Apotheke, and I'm coming on at 10 to do some stuff with them. Uh, now, you know, an interesting thing happened this week. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I lost my mind. Oh, you got it uh, already pulled up. Aphrodite, you posted something really interesting on Instagram. Now, the whole little Kill Tony family, we all follow each other, and uh, we sort of see what's going on. You are, I don't follow many people at all, but you are one of my favorite people to follow because when I see something, I know it's coming from the heart. And I saw something this week. Is it okay if I read it? Yeah. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is uh, from Aphrodite6325. This was uh, just a a few days ago. Here we go. I'm guilty. My heart is full right now because I love you so much. Malcolm. At Malcolm H12, my baby. Mm -mm -mm. I don't want to be playing, saying auntie anymore. 
I just want to love you. Man to woman, you love me too. It's all on our faces. I love your hilarious heart and spirit. I surrender. Here I am. Destiny ain't no joke, baby. All capital letters. <laughs> Feelings so strong. Can't be wrong. Magical. Wrote you a song Wednesday night singing from my heart. Had you dancing. Hilarious. I don't know what's happening or how it happened. <laughs> but I want to keep loving you, Malcolm. Wow. Straight from my heart to yours. Really feeling you at your request. <laughs> I'm completely single and live alone. You got my number and my address. <laughs> Did you think this was a direct message? <laughs> I don't have a roommate. It's on. The hottest male comedian and hottest female comedian on the Kill Tony show. I'm not joking. Just my heart beating so fast right now. It's probably from the greasy food that you eat. But <laughs> and every time I see you, I had to tell you what you already know, baby. Wow, all capital letters. I can breathe now. Hashtag live, hashtag love, hashtag make love, <laughs> hashtag Malcolm, Malcolm Aphrodite, Aphrodite, fuck, fuck yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. You can see that? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you've got to follow. I've been telling everyone, you've got to follow Aphrodite on Instagram. It's one of the glorious things in this universe. Uh, were you sober when you wrote that? I'm totally for real. I'm, I'm just tired of being alone. And I, the brother's handsome. What can I say? Damn, yeah. and you're shooting for young buck Malcolm. I love yeah, you. know what? Yeah, I, why not? You motherfuckers do it all the time. You know, I love your style. What is this double standard bullshit? What no. is that about? No, I, 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 I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm with you, Aphrodite. Yeah. I mean, I ain't gonna stalk, I ain't gonna chase, but uh, but I you just put it out say, there, Hell you put yeah. it out there publicly. I'm and a who single, knows? I'm a single woman. Shit. Why did you who do knows? it? Why did you do it publicly instead of just? I'm sending the, that's the way my spirit told me to do it like that. I, I felt it committed me to and it. And you know what? And maybe, maybe he won't want to be like you know. Maybe he. I feel like Malcolm's such a good guy. Maybe he, he won't want to be like public about it. But I feel like he's such a lovable, likable guy and likes you so much, and he probably w wouldn't want to make it a public thing. But I, I feel know. like he'd probably like rape you on your way home one night, you know what I mean? <laughs> just to give you your I'm wish. I'm gonna give you all the details. Let okay. you peek through the ski mask for a second. Like he'll just whisper, like it's me, Malcolm. Relax. I just well, gotta do this for so that people don't. Wait, find I'm not gonna make a movie about it. Um, yeah. I'm have you? Have they hooked up already? No, no. I mean, well, no, right. No, no, I just put it out there. My spirit said, "Do it." I learned to follow it, even if it embarrassed the fuck out of me sometimes. Now, I just there, do it. Is there something that happened? Did you guys do something together where these feelings like really started? Was it uh, I can't say that I really know. It's just like it's just such a magical feeling, you know. I, I'm I don't give away too much stuff. Wow. You know? I don't want to say nothing that could be, you know, misconstrued. Sounds like you want to give away something to Malcolm. Though. Yeah, I do. But anyway. <laughs> I'm single. I'm starting to feel like a fucking vegetarian and shit. No, no dick I meat. love it, Aphrodite. I just I find it very compelling. I'm excited to follow along with this storyline and uh, find out more. I'm a single woman. I, I you mean, feel like I'm a what? A vegetarian? A vegetarian, you know. You Is know the people that don't get no meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they're translucent. I think something like that. Oh no! You can go crazy when you don't have no sex for months. And How long months has and it months. been months? I just stopped counting. I'm about to ready to fuck this church guy up. <laughs> I have to believe you don't have a problem getting laid, though. I, I cannot I believe mean, that. I mean, I go outside. First thing people do is they go, "Damn, all that ass!" You know, as right. soon as they see me. Jeremiah. But I go home alone because I don't just attract it to everybody. You right. know, I'm like everybody else. I don't want to sleep and be with somebody I'm not attracted to. Right. Of what course. What the fucking point? No, I like your style, and I like that you're putting it out there publicly. I mean, I'm from the show me state. We say what we feel. I'm not going to stalk the man. The show me state? The show me. Oh, show me. Which, show state, me. which state is St. that? St. Louis, Missouri. It's Missouri. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Like well, I said, I don't stalk no dudes, you know. I don't do no crazy shit. I'm not blowing up no phones and no shit like that, but I just had to say it. Yeah, you I put it out that. there. And it That's felt it. good after you said it. You let oh, it out there. Oh, God. Have you ever, uh, have you ever, this is, I'm going to pay some homage to my old friend Howard Stern, or, or not my old friend, but, uh, you know, one of my old favorites back in the day. Uh, have you ever pleasured yourself? Oh, my God. <laughs> have you ever pleasured yourself to the thought of uh, Malcolm? Can you tell us no, that? No, not yet, but uh, who knows? Might be tonight. No. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm tired of being alone. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. There she goes. Aphrodite, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Another amazing set. We found out a lot. There she goes. Come on, make some noise. 62-year-old legend, Aphrodite. She started here. She gets better every time she comes on. It's fucking yeah. incredible. Now she's, she's got a trunk that it looks like you could fit a couple of bodies into it. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tom, I saw you looking. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it just so happens that it is truly that part of the show where we do bring up our regular uh, once a week. He is a goddamn sensation, crushing it everywhere. Just had a gigantic NBC fucking super showcase in Las Vegas. Uh, just uh, headlined his own show in Iowa last week. Put your hands together for the great. Malcolm Hatchet, everybody. <laughs> Y'all go crazy as fuck. <laughs> Today, I, my, I told my homeboy to take a picture of me. And he was like, is it cool if I don't get your shoes? Because your shoes can't fit in the picture. I was like, nigga, these Jordans, I got to show these. Hurry up and get it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> Man, I, I used to hate going to the grocery store with my mom when I was little. Because I couldn't look at nothing name brand. Cause she hit me upside the head. I mean, one time I looked at some frosty flakes. She said, "You better look at them flakes." <laughs> now in North Carolina, flakes is a nigga version of frosty flakes. <laughs> Cause frosty flakes is a tiger with a bowl of cereal, cereal milk in the bowl. But flakes is a nigga <laughs> with tiger painting <laughs> and an empty bowl of cereal. Cause he ate the cereal during the photo shoot. <laughs> Fuck yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> Malcolm Hatchet coming out every week with the new 60 seconds. Ah. Turn that shit off. I heard y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> the fuck wrong? You, I mean, we had to talk about it. Uh, now, I should have mentioned that uh, you, uh, in the comments, handled it very cool. Uh, publicly, you said something like... Uh, Haha, love, ha, love you too. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> Aphrodite, plug your ears. <laughs> so uh, you gonna smash me? Man, gonna hell no. <laughs> <laughs> she cool, man, but she, she older than my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> she looks good. She looks yeah, good. hell yeah, man. Yeah. I'm in the white girls now, man. LA don't change the nigga. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> All right, now you've crossed the line. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for a, a Sarah or some shit. <laughs> Sarah. A Bethany. I'm tired of Tatiana's. Oh, my God. Are, are you an ass man, though? Do you like butt, big butts? I like backs now. Your backs? <laughs> I like an honor boy booty. <laughs> have, you, uh, have you been with a uh, white woman recently? Have you... Uh... So not, nah, not you know, recently, but not like recently. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, it's not like I have one like waiting under the table or anything like that. And the pussy was pink. <laughs> I said, girl, that shit look like bubble gum. Let me chew it. <laughs> wow. Blew a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Went right back in and came out of stomach. <laughs> God damn. Uh, Jeremiah? <laughs> Y'all crazy. Uh, I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, uh, lo so life is good. You've been doing a lot of shows. Uh, Tom, this is your first time seeing Malcolm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you were great, man. You, were, you know, I love that you actually, you, you were totally set up to be distracted by oh, before yeah. you, but you stuck to what always do, whatever. Like, if yeah. you want to talk about it, do it. But if you want to do your material, never let somebody dictate it. Yeah. That I loved. Yeah. I love that you did Absolutely. that. Absolutely. I thought it was perfectly handled. Yeah. A goddamn perfect example of just, you know, if you have something you want to talk about, the audience will gauge that. You know, they'll go along on the trip with you uh, based on your confidence with that. And you certainly didn't want to talk about that to get things started. 
Um, the chicken was good as hell, though. Aphrodite made you chicken at her place. Yeah, a lot of us, not just yeah. me. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'm well Aphrodite <laughs> is uh, the other dark meat. There you was know? four niggas in the Mexican chick. <laughs> Now, I noticed that you have a lot of shows coming up in Vegas. You, uh, you're opening up for a few people in uh, uh, the Laugh Factory and stuff like that. Oh, that's yeah. great. You, you, was that your first time in Vegas? Uh, no, I went with y'all, remember? Oh, that's right. They forgot about it. <laughs> yeah, he was, a guest, he was a guest I'm on here the show. every Monday. You're going to forget. <laughs> he was oh, a, it was only one night. We were <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was a special secret guest. It yeah. was hot as hell in Vegas, man. Yeah. That was so much fun. Wow. So what else is going on in life? Anything else you want to chat about? or think Oh, yeah. I want to uh, say happy birthday to my friend Tommy Guerrero in the back. Tony. Yeah. That's my boy. All right. Well, look at that. Little birthday shout out. He cool. He gave me money when I came up here a while ago just here. And I was like, oh, shit. This nigga got money. <laughs> wow. Are you staying at a place right now? Because I know it's like super hot outside. I have. I have. Like few last few days. Uh, yesterday I was. But before that, I was like in the car. I like the car, man. Just... Yeah. You, crash ride the, a lot. you crash in the car a lot? Yeah, I've been in the car since I came out here. But How long ago was that? Uh, August 30th. And then so we're coming up after that guy, I went home. And uh, you're, you're coming up on a year? Uh, August, yeah, August 30th. Dude, you can move into a place with 30 people. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> for <laughs> like nah, six potatoes <laughs> and <laughs> that's 700 fucking dollars. That's I mean, a, isn't that yeah, such a rip that's going to be a bad Wi-Fi connection right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, 20 of y'all, get off the code real quick. <laughs> wow. Yeah, got to go to Instagram. <laughs> That's wild, dude. So you, you still you sleep in the car a lot? Still? Yeah. And his home. car, uh, his original car that he came out in broke uh, a few months ago and uh, a couple months ago. And with uh, money raised by a bunch of Kill Tony fans, was able to uh, exceed his limit on his uh, car. Go fund me thing immediately. Wow, that's awesome, man. Got himself a nice little white Volvo. <laughs> Very nice. Hell yeah, you'll definitely be able to fuck white girls now that you have a Volvo. Yeah. You've upgraded. Whoa, Jesus. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have some what? merchandise. Hey, whore, what did I say about earlier, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I got white girls screaming at me now. Shit. Malcolm, did you get rid of your old car? Like, Man, it was at the gym, and they was finna tow it. And Sarija got it towed to a place, and then they towed it. So it's, 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 it's gone. sitting at a... Yeah, it's... it's I miss it. Aw. Aw. Wow. I feel like, uh, I feel like Aphrodite's gonna buy it and uh, hang it up like in little pieces on her walls or things like that. She's gonna be she's licking the little... seat. She's gonna put it on her butt. <laughs> I'm excited about this. Uh, another fun set from you, sir, Malcolm Hatchett. Hell you did it again. Hell Absolute hell. killer. Big announcements coming up. I think uh, I think you're going to see uh, a lot of Malcolm on the road. A couple more gigs coming up. Uh, coming soon from him. Hey, this looks like an interesting name. Put your hands together for Billy Y. Billy Y. Here he comes from right there. Believe it's his first time on the show. Anything can happen. Billy Y. Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <sighs> There's those two words where, like, people... You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh. What was those two words that were, were, like, people thought you heard one word, but it was a different word? And Ellen... Who said So what, what was it? What did you think it was? <laughs> it was uh, correct answer is female ejaculation, ladies and gentlemen. Female ejaculation. <laughs> Mr. T, uh, he opened up a Mediterranean cuisine franchise. He called it ah, Jeremiah. Peter the Fool. Now, uh, Tony, I've never killed a Stretch. guy in front of this many other people before. But if you want to make it happen, I know a guy. <laughs> wow, Billy, why? Can I ask you why? 60, uh, 60 seconds feels a lot shorter up here. 
Oh my God! What happened? Not to you? for what's me, <laughs> Billy. What's your story? You look like you were. Uh, you, you look like you were uh, born recently and also 45 at the same time. Like I can't quite get a read on your hey, exact uh, look. This guy you, looks like he teaches yoga to Al Qaeda. <laughs> All about that uh, downward bomb, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. He looks like Queer Eye for the construction guy. <laughs> yeah, I called you gay. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from the guy smoking cigarettes like... Oh, don't try, don't try, don't try. Billy... Uh, I didn't hear Laurel Oyani. I heard I'm a little bitch boy. Wow. <laughs> Be careful, Jeremiah. Billy, uh, Billy looks exactly like Eddie Bravo if he never heard of jujitsu before. <laughs> yeah, be careful, because ju- ju- it's so easy a caveman could do it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Billy, how long have you been doing stand-up? Off and on for about three or four months. Off and on. For how long have you been painting the inside of caves? Um, since I was yay high. Since I was yay high. Billy. All right. Billy, where are you from? That's the laziest jewel burger I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Originally from Long Island. Originally from Long Island. Yeah. Uh, and, and how long uh, have you been in Los Angeles? I don't live in Los Angeles. You're just actually. visiting. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get here? That. Uh, just my, my T Rex. What's that? It was a dinosaur. You, you oh no! They floated a basket down the Nile. <laughs> Tell the truth. How'd you get here? You... My buddy. My buddy's a comic. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're both comedians. Serious. How long has your buddy been doing it? Uh, he's been doing it longer than me. Uh, more consistent than me. So. Uh, How long you in town for? Uh, just the night. Uh huh. Going back. You go Where, back to Long Island you tomorrow. Going to Long Island? No, no, no. This is home. I've been out here half my life. It's, oh. uh, the accent's just gone. Oh, uh, okay. So yeah. you just lied about that thing. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm a New Yorker. Anyway. Uh, so, Billy, what do you do for a living? I'm a farmer. Where, where, you, where do you farm? In, uh, in the 909 over there, about uh, 50, 50 miles east. Huh. So you live pot? there? Yeah. Okay. You grow pot. Uh, I grow strawberries the size of your fucking hand. That's strawberries? Yeah. You're the strawberry guy? Uh, among other I things. I don't believe anything yeah. you're saying anymore. <laughs> Billy Y, everybody. There he goes. Billy Y. Every once in a while. Every once in a while, there's a catch with having a completely improvised show. <laughs> and, and it's the, I, uh, oh, I fight okay. saber-toothed tigers. <laughs> Less is more. <laughs> that was uh, that's crazy when a person can't answer simple questions. Doesn't really take that much talent. Put your hands together for Kiernan Bencoil. My roommates only clean if they think they're gonna get laid. This doesn't happen a lot. Um, And I don't have Tom Segura money, and I can't afford a cleaning lady. So I started catfishing my roommates. (laughs) Yeah, um, it's just, it's just me and my roommates there in one room, and I'm in the other, we're having sexy, sexy conversations about stuff I wanna do. I'm like, Let's have sex in the shower. (laughs) In the nice, clean shower. And I know what you guys are thinking, this guy's fucking brilliant. But it's gotta end, we've all seen this TV show, right? We've seen Catfish. Um, But here's the thing, if you're a girl on the internet, you just don't text back. That's it, it's par for the course. And you guys, I fucking love being a girl on the internet. It's great, thank you. Oh yeah, Kiernan Bencoil. So you're saying that you you do that to get good roommates, to get better yeah. I mean, I train them. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I mean, 
Is the bit is the bit longer than that usually, or is that a new bit? Yeah, that's usually how I end it. I have like I wouldn't. I, you don't even think you need that that last part. Just the, move uh, the, on after those two fucking bangers and the bangers and yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Those so are is great. it it's rooted in truth though? Uh, it's rooted in the fact that I only clean if I think I'm getting laid, and yeah, that yeah. doesn't happen a lot. Yeah. Uh, sex for me is a lot like going to the movies. Most but. of the time, it's just me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was I mean, so bad. I, I, I was I not expecting that. I was expecting <laughs> I like you know, there's oh, butter okay. everywhere or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Could add that to it. Add more to that thing and less from your joke thing. But uh, the uh, the fucking the the con like the, your joke kill, that that'll kill everywhere, man. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Thank you. How long yeah. you been doing stand up? Uh, on and off for like six months. Actually, no, six months. Yeah. Um, only three nights a week. Three yeah. nights a week. Why? Yeah. Why only three nights a week? Uh, I don't. I don't really have an excuse. What do you do for work? Advertising. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a copywriter for advertising. Oh, that's a yeah. full time job. It's a real job. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, but. Um, but where do you, do you usually get up? Uh, I I uh, I've been going here recently, but I never get up. Uh, I go to this place called Brudas in Gardena. You always get eight minutes. It's beautiful. I've been doing some bringer shows. Uh, I did the Ice House once, and that felt. Really good. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, man, uh, for six months you're killing it, dude. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I, this is confidence boost, like yeah. crazy, guys. This is great. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 24. I just turned 24. Yeah. Uh huh. How mu- yeah. how much money do you think I have? <laughs> more than me. More right. Than, more than Billy. I don't know about more than you. I mean. I mean <laughs> do you I put do a lot on the credit card? If that's okay, you know okay. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Do yeah. you do uh, I don't have Tom Segura money even when Tom Segura is not right next to him? <laughs> yes. Really? I do. That's well, the wow, line. I yeah. love that. Because, I, I mean, he's a, he's a well-known comic. Yeah, like, no, it. pick yeah. somebody richer, for sure. <laughs> pick somebody richer? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Like Tony Hitchcliff money? Yeah, something no, like that. that's not true. <laughs> uh, that was, uh, yeah. Kiernan, yeah. so what's your love life like? Uh, I mean, I'm just doing a lot of dating. Um, yeah. I'm on the apps. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I, uh, I use Hinge what? a lot because I'm. Oh yeah, you're gonna. No, say no, something. no. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, so I'm a copywriter. So I, I write uh, for a living. So I use Hinge because it's mainly text-based. Lots of questions and answers. So what I, do you have the highest like return rate on? What's what's your batting average? Hinge. Hinge. I mean, hinge batting average best? is not good. Like, really? really bad batting. He gets, average. he gets most of his action off LinkedIn. Why don't you go to like a? <laughs> <laughs> use like a. Dip, why don't you go to another app then? It's, uh, not it's just out. too much swiping. It's I don't know. It's too much wow! Swiping. Look at you, hey, Jeez. Oh, oh, I, it, I would hey. get all the pussy in the world, but it's <laughs> all the swiping. Come on. Hinge, is, Hinge is pretty just, legit. What do you think? Hinge is legit. Yeah, yeah. Thank and you. it just thank uh, you. teamed up with Bumble or something like that. So yeah. Well, if it oh, works shit. for a red band, I mean, it must yeah. be unbelievable. Fantastic! Fantastic! Yeah. Where did you get married? <laughs> 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 he got it off Postmates. Yeah, the same place that Trump got Melania. Yeah. That's where he got his wife. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Where winners <laughs> get wind. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, Kiernan. Yes. What else about you? Uh, I uh, was born in New Jersey, and uh-huh. I grew up in Columbus, Ohio. Hey, I like oh, this yeah, guy. So, yeah, I wanted Columbus, to fucking Ohio. say Columbus. Go Buckeyes. What part, of, big what, what part of Columbus? Powell, Ohio. Oh, that's yeah. my hometown. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This lady is uh, clearly... Oh, Dublin! Dublin! Fuck yeah! Hell yeah, Dublin. Uh, yeah. Woo! The home yeah. of uh, Wendy's hamburgers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's place, all right. Yeah. It's a fun little it's Brian a just came up. a little bit. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. <laughs> wow, well, that's yeah. fun. What do you do? Uh, so you said you only do it three nights a week, though. What do you do the other four nights? Like, what do you really do? To give us an example of Kiernan's routine after working. How old are you again? Uh, 24. 24, you got a full-time advertising job. You're not doing stand-up that night. What happens? You make yourself, I, I can almost I picture l- a little TV tray, micro- <laughs> microwave dinner. Holy shit. Trader Joe's uh, mac and cheese. The frozen mac and cheese. This is my night. This is my no, night. Frozen? I'm sorry. Yeah. Now Red Band just came in his pants a little. Yeah. <laughs> so Whatever, he, man. You're talking about cars. Yeah. This, guy, yeah. this cars. guy is fucking Spider-Man I watch right now. Larry, the Larry Sanders show. I'm yeah. watching that right now, and I fucking love it. I love Gary Shandling, yeah. and I eat ice cream, and that's that's what I do. I love how boring my life is, and it's okay. Oh, look at you. I yeah. like this guy. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Like Living the life yeah. of a pregnant woman all by uh, yeah, yourself. Yeah, it is. I can be pregnant sometimes. Wow. I'm, I'm just pregnant with optimism right now. Well, <laughs> I give it about nine months. Wow. 
<laughs> now I'm sad. <sighs> Why'd you leave Columbus, Ohio? What was the main reason to get out of there? Um, I originally like really wanted to be like the advertising guy, um, and so I was like, I gotta leave Ohio. I went in New York. I lived with my brother in Astoria for a little bit, um, and then uh, I got this job out in L.A. because of a, a weird LinkedIn email I sent about Selena Gomez. Is that true? It's so true. You can look at my website if you want, uh, judgemywork.com, or not judgemy.work. I sent this uh, email about uh, how I didn't want this job, and I just want to marry Selena Gomez, and here's like my 10-step process. To marrying uh, her? To marrying her, yeah, yeah. And Is actually, it landed me the job. Yeah. No, 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 it's not. What was that? Nothing. I, um, it's okay. So they, they, they love the creativity behind it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, instead of like, hey, can I please have a job? I have all these skills. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll just be And a it's a weird. good paying job. You have like a grown-up yeah. job. I have a grown-up job, and it's scary, but it's good. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Is your, is your boss nice? Boss is so great, yeah. Wow. All of them are great, yeah. Damn. This is, I feel like the conversation is kind of plateauing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. But let me teach you something. Let me teach you something. Teach you something. Uh, like, like teach you something. Plateauing, uh, right? You can learn a little something right now. When you're, okay. When you're on a live show, you don't have to say it out loud. They, they feel it too. <laughs> I was okay. just about to say Kieran and Ben Coyle, but now it seems like you're hosting the show all of a sudden. <laughs> so now the, uh, I have to keep you here longer so I'm that I can sorry. stay how, how long have you been Tony's stunt double for? Oh, hey. How dare you back Why there? Why would you do that to me? Oof. All right, so I, I'm going to get off You can't now, just right? say that about every skinny white stay, guy, Joel. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There he goes. Kiernan Ben Coyle, All ladies right, and gentlemen. Guys. Yep. He's on Twitter at Ben Coyle. Good job. K ben, he's on K Ben Coyle. B-E-N-K-O-I-L. K Ben Coyle. I love Ohio people when you meet other Ohio people. I am a little biased towards Ohio people. Yeah, Everyone else wants to hate, but I mean, we just do all the best stuff. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> you're a Florida guy, right? Wait, no. You're That's from perfect. Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Wow. That's right. Wow. Holy fucking shit. That's incredible. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> right back in your face, Hinchcliffe. It's okay. I pulled another name out of the bucket. You guys want to go to the bucket one more time? Let's do it. Just one last one. All right, let's see what happens. Put your hands together for Robert Thompson. Wow, look who it is. Hawaiian shirt. Robert Thompson, everybody. How y'all doing? So uh, we all have vices in life, you know, whether it be gambling or, or uh, miniature golf or drugs, whatever. My father's happens to be playing online games and getting his ass handed to him by 15-year-olds in Montana. Uh, and he'll let you know when he's losing, too. It sounds like there's a fucking war going on. Motherfucker! God damn it! This, I could have chicks over, there could be anyone over, and he just lets it rip, you know? Uh, and he gets very creative with his vernacular while playing these games. Like, uh, he's kind of a wordsmith, really. One time I heard him say, Jesus, tap dancing Christ! And it paints a very nice visual. You just imagine Jesus tap dancing. That's my tap dancing. Uh, but, you know, other than verbal and uh, painful uh, abuse as a child, there's a lot of things I'm going to miss. Um, like uh, that announcer for the Dodgers, uh, Vince Scully. I grew up here in California. That guy is also a wordsmith, and I'm not going to do that impression. Thank you, guys. No, go ahead. Oh, finish right. it. Finish it. Stop. Stop. Finish it. So, uh... I'm going to miss that guy, you know, and uh, he's a very classy dude, but I'd love to hear him just completely shit face call a game, you know, like, Tommy Lasorda's is here today, stuffing his, pat, or his fat pig-like face of Dodger dogs. If there's one thing Tommy wants, it's another fucking hot attack topped with mustard and ketchup. Thank you. Thank you very much. Fuck yeah. I'll tell you this. That might be, and I'm not kidding, I'm not joking at all, that literally might be one of the best impressions yeah. ever done by anybody I'm ever pulled Tony, out of yeah. the bucket yeah. Thank you. on I this show. Uh, Jeremiah, would you second that right? A good Vin Scully? Seal of approval. Yeah, you almost wow. never hear it. Yeah. That's incredible. Who is Laura Palmer? Oh, what? Uh, Who is that? 
I get that everywhere, man. It looks like some shirt that'd be like in the hood, you know, like. Oh, you're going no, it's off Twin the Peaks, T-shirt. Twin wow. Peaks. First yeah. level ADD. Fuck yeah. Oh. yeah. Uh, Robert, so you just did 60 seconds up here. How did, yeah. w- what made you pick Vin Scully? How did you know that you know how to do a Vin Scully impression? Well, my, my grandfather would always like fall asleep to the games and stuff. And I wasn't really, even though I'm like a big dude, I wasn't very athletic. You know, I watched fucking Kids in the Hall. I was too busy loving comedy. Which, by the way, weirdo. is really a shame. Because if you were athletic at all, <laughs> you would be... The WWF champion right now. Oh, I'm wow. just letting you know. I don't know. Mark. The first I thing I know. thought. It's a goddamn shame that you're that gigantic and just a pure fucking schlub. All the time, man. I, I mean, you wear I'm the a shirt of a schlub. That's a schlub shirt. You have to go to a schlub store hey. to get it. How long have you been doing this? Um, it, it was. I was doing it two years consistently, and then I, I stopped do, doing music. So this is the first time I've actually done stand-up in two, two years. Yeah. Yeah, you know... You come up like you 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 seem so comfortable like the way you speak and you're super like just e- ease with movement and words and everything. It's great. That's the I hate your shirt so much. <laughs> yeah. Like it's a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. like a fucking fifty-eight year old guy yeah. who just kind of I expect him like he's like I'm trying to find gas. So I don't know where the gas station is. <laughs> it looks. It's really weird. Never wear that again. Oh when you yeah. Get yeah. yeah. For sure. Sore. For sure. Yeah. Uh, what do you do for a living? Well, uh, I like I, I've been doing music on and off for. What What, what years. do you do for music? But, uh, I, I'm in a band. Uh, it's it's like a comedy punk band, Dick Neptune. Uh, actually, uh, well, okay, I, I'm from Chino Hills, and uh, is that your dad's Chino, shirt? Is uh, it your dad? <laughs> no, no, no. I have a lot of my grandpa's clothes. Though, is but, is uh, it his? Uh, no, um, but. My dad isn't as fashionable. He's a little bit more laid back. My grandfather, though, he had this shirt that looked like... Uh, more laid back than that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very, yeah, a little bit. What does he wear? A fucking... A fucking... A, a, what's the wrong? Oh. I don't know what that is, but uh, sounds cool. I didn't uh, think so. <laughs> So your band's called yeah. Dick Neptune and the Microwave Ovens? Yeah, we did a video. Actually, so I'm, uh, there's a comic, John Chevsky, that I grew up with in uh, like 12 John years Chefsky? ago. John yeah. Chevsky? I love John Hey, yeah, that's John's my great. buddy right there. Like 12 years ago, I was, spar- I was supposed to start doing stand-up with him then, but I, I didn't have the nerve to do it. I did UCB and stuff, and it was crazy. Uh, but Angelo Baller, uh, the late Angelo Ballers, uh, used to... Uh, like encouraged me to do it, and I, I never did it. And uh, Angelo told you to yeah. do stand up, but you still John, didn't do yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Wow. I was terrified because I, I was I was in a band. I had like the comfort of other people. So yeah. you seem like a natural. A for real, you do seem like a oh, natural. Thank, you. Yeah. thank so, you. It feels good. I. But uh, to answer your question earlier, I push shopping carts at Sam's Club. So like getting up here and doing this feels very good because that's probably the most degrading. Uh, <laughs> gig but uh sam's, yeah. sam's yeah. club is still a thing it's right. still a thing dude yeah struggling yeah. though they have robots. how many carts can you push at once ballpark uh, 25 well, 30 you still might be able to be the wwf uh, champion oh, dude i, I want to see you fucking push carts we can get you in shape we'll get you on the same <laughs> diet are, as the first guy it'll be great uh, what are your what are your stats height what how tall are you uh six six yeah. Six, six. Fuck yeah dude that's fucking undertaker <laughs> nose to nose bro wrestlemania 36 his his I, wrest, his wrestling name would be Tommy Bahama. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, actually, uh, we had a we had a song. Uh, I want to be a wrestler, Dick Neptune. It got on the Colt Cabana show. That was an honor. D- wow, that is yeah. so cool. Do you sing any of the songs? Yeah. Can you yeah. give us an example of a line from a uh, oh a Dick Neptune? Song? I don't know. We 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 do a cover of "I Touch Myself." I can yeah. Do that. How does that go? Uh, it goes, you want the, Should we play the karaoke version of that or something? Will that help you? Sure. Let's Is do that it. what you want? Uh, let's do that. Why don't let's we? Do uh, it, folks. Oh shit! Yeah, it'd be YouTube. I mean, <laughs> not YouTube. Why would I say that? That's so silly. That doesn't make any sense. YouTube now. <laughs> <laughs> Why uh, would we but use yeah, actually, that? Uh, there's some some Jamar neighbors in that video, Sandra Aklano, and uh, I because I haven't. Like, say you uh, you want to pick up you want to pick up those names. You yeah, I know, I know, I know, Mr. Joel. There okay, here we go. Here we go. Won't you love me when I feel down? Won't you above me? I search myself. Want you to find me? I forgot myself. I want you to remind me. Whoa! 
anybody else when I think about you I touch myself whoa why don't whoa, all right, all right, thank right, you thank all you right, there it is Wow, wow. Jeremiah okay I might have called red band gay earlier but you sir are gay <laughs> that's an honor sir thank you so Dick Neptune you've been doing this now how long uh well Years and years playing different bands and stuff. I used to do public access actually. Uh, and uh, there's a dude, another dude from Ohio that I uh, used to do years of uh, Wait, you're from videos Ohio? with. Uh, no, no. I, I'm out of breath right now, so no, I lost we know. my we train of thought. We I was just you. shaking my thing right there. I guess it's four yeah. or five carts at a time, Max. Yeah, yeah. Tony was the answer that I wanted from earlier. Yeah. Truly out of breath, Robert Thompson. Yeah, but it's. Uh, well. Bert, I, mean, I just Bert. called you Bert. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I, he, it's because I was going to make a Bert joke on him. Tom, uh, what do you think about uh, Robert? Anything any, any, anything else for Robert other than change I mean, his shirts? Sam's Club's a good job. Um, <laughs> no, you, you, uh, dude, you just got to get up on stage. You love to perform. It's obvious you love to perform. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got a gig tomorrow in Fresno, motherfuckers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All That's right. right. First set in a long time. So fucking lose the shirt, uh, <laughs> shrink six inches, and fucking All have right. fun, man. What club, uh, what club are you performing at uh, tomorrow, Sam's? It's, uh, yes. <laughs> in a club. There he goes, Robert Thompson, everybody. He's on Twitter at Rob C. Comedy, and that is another episode of Kill Tony. You can catch it live. Montreal, Cleveland, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Nashville, Lansing, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Toronto. Wow, look at that. Look at the drawing from Ryan J. E. Belt, everybody. Look at you, Tom. He's a freak of nature artist. RyanJEBelt.com. You can buy the print. You can, get a, you can get a print of it. You can get the actual print. You can get the Kill Tony five-year anniversary poster, which is... Actually, no, those aren't for sale there, right? That was just one night only. Oh, it's on there. Five-year anniversary. You also have the, the Kill Tony po uh, shirt out there for sale. Yep, the Kill Tony shirt is available uh, right there in the lobby and online at uh, deathsquad.tv, tonyhenchcliffe.com for uh, dates uh, for my stand-up and for any of those Kill Tonys that you heard. If we're near your city, you might as well come. Tom Segura has his fall tour at tomsegura.com, your mom's house podcast, legendary, legendary stuff. Now that you heard it, make sure you go back and listen to the two Joy Hinchcliffe episodes. Amazing. Now, now Amazing. that you know her from last week on Kill Tony. And uh, anything else, Tom? No, no. Thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun, as Jeremiah always. Jeremiah Watkins has a brand new episode. Oh! out that just came out today. I know, because I did that episode. Yeah, my most recent guest, Tony Hinchcliffe on Jeremiah Wonders. Follow me on social media at Jeremiah Stand Up. We did a long, fun episode uh, together the other day. Chroma Chris. Just follow me on Instagram. I dropped a new music video from Spider Tear today. Chris, you didn't say much tonight. How would you think about tonight's episode? Tony, I thought it was untouchable. <laughs> oh! Whoa! <laughs> he never says anything. That was stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, ladies and gentlemen. Come on. There he is. He's on Twitter and Instagram at Mostly Sorry. Anything else, Joel Berg? Yeah, follow me or sleep with the fishes, you fucking idiot. Yeah. So much fun. Thank you, live audience. We did it again. Did you guys have fun tonight? All right. We'll see you guys again soon. See ya. See ya.